go to take a look now at the breathing to the kettlebell overhead press. And there's really only one style of breathing that works with this lift, and that's anatomical breathing. The reason for that is that we need to be able to maintain an elbow body connection during the first dip, and the only way that we can do that is to exhale on the first dip. Can't inhale there because that automatically takes the elbow away from the body. So if Rowan demonstrates he's breathing out on that first dip, in as the kettlebell goes up, out as he brings it back down to rack, He'll take a breath in to reset, out on the first dip, in on the way up, back out as it comes back down to rack. Now that is the simplest anatomical breathing pattern, so it's just out, in, out, and then a breath in to reset before you go back into your first dip. There's another one that's slightly more complicated, and it's basically adding an, another exhalation in overhead lockout. So it's out on the first dip, in as the kettlebell goes up, out as he gets it into overhead lockout, in to reset so that he can then breathe out as the kettlebell comes back down. So one more time, out on the first dip, in as the kettlebell goes up, out at lockout, in, in overhead lockout, and then back out before it comes, as it comes back down. So I'll get Rowan to do a couple of reps quickly so that you can see that breathing pattern in action. So that's your breathing pattern, or actually a choice of two anatomical breathing patterns for the kettlebell push press.